I'm Stacy Delo here at Sun Power Corporation with the CEO Tom Werner. We're actually standing in front of some solar panels here, and the company is actually announcing that they have, along with PG&E and this company OptiSolar, are they're announcing the first solar-powered PV solar-powered utility-scale power plant. So this is a big deal because heretofore the utility scale aspect of this was thought that it really needed to come from solar thermal, which is not PV. Right. Yeah, this is a huge deal. This is historic. The PV industry has been working on something like this for over 20 years. So this is 20 years of effort today has come to fruition. And it's, a, as you said, a utility scale PV power plant. Think of the scale. This is a, on, on our uh, system as it's installed. It will be as big as all of the PV that was installed in the United States last year. So this will be an 800 megawatt combination of the two companies' projects will be 800 megawatts. And how many, how many houses does that fuel? Hundreds of thousands of houses could be fueled or, or could get their energy from mm -hmm. this uh, solar PV power plant. Okay, so and the, about a third of that will come from yes. Sun Power so panels. Sun Power will be doing a, a, a third of that overall project and we'll be doing that with the technology that you see behind So you. it'll be a, a large field of sorts with solar panels like this that actually track the sun. How does that work? So what we do is we track the sun. So of course, if you're always pointing towards the sun, you're going to collect more sunlight. So the panels you see behind us are tilted and track the sun. And the idea is that uh, we have a uh, GPS downloaded location and we know exactly where the sun's gonna be and we track it at all times. So one of the criticisms against solar power, which isn't really all that different, say, from wind power either, is that the, uh, the power can't be harnessed and saved for later. The, the beauty of a PV system is it produces power when you need it most. If you look at the load curve of, uh, for utilities, it's during the peak sunshine. Why is that? That's because that's when air conditioning runs. So uh, AI's PV system actually produces power when it's most needed. Now sun power stock is off about 50% over the last year, a little bit more than that. How important is something like this from a business perspective to growth? Oh, this is absolutely critical. It's uh, obviously it creates predictable demand. It opens a whole new market on a huge scale. Our entire output this year is the size of this power plant. Well, and while I have you here, I have to ask about Congress still hasn't passed a renewal of tax credits for alternative energy. How important is that to you? that it pass, or some version of it pass. I think it's critical that the, uh, uh, that the ITC passes. Uh, I think it puts us on a level playing field with other technologies, and I think it will pass. It's the most talked about, but uh, longest to pass. So it's, it's going to happen, by, by bipartisan support, but it's, it's absolutely needed. Great, thanks very much, Tom. I've been speaking with Tom Werner. He's CEO of Sun Power Corporation. I'm Stacy Delo.